activist, environmentalist, economist, writer, and former vice president nominee of the Green Party. Please welcome Executive Director of Honor the Earth and White Earth Land Recovery Project, Wynonna LaDuke. Anin! Anin Nindue Magadaduk! Those are some great bros. They're from about four reservations over, eh? Mama Kajichike. So I'm very honored and privileged to be here and join you tonight. I want to say a shout out to my res, White Earth. And um, thank you all for being here. It's my privilege to be able to induct this accomplished artist, flute player, singer, songwriter, composer, and producer into the NAMA Hall of Fame, Keith Sokola. I've known this man for many years. When I first met him, I tried to get him to sing that song, Zugi Poon, to me many times, but it was reserved for another woman. As an award-winning figure in contemporary Native American music, Keith is unlike any other. He's an Anishinaabe, originally from the Masabi Iron Range, Aseb Kani Sagegering, that territory in northern Minnesota which we call Anishinaabe Akin. He's a member of the Anishinaabe Nation. His native name is Mikazi, Mikazi Anini, Eagle Man. And he is also a graduate of the University of Minnesota with a degree in American Indian Studies which I understand was hard won. He is familiar with thousands of fans, too familiar with thousands of fans across North America, Europe, and elsewhere, where he's been playing on his own brand of progressive music for many decades. His famous hit songs, Indian Cars and Fry Bread, are considered contemporary Native American anthems. He and his band have performed under many names and disguises including the Wild Band of Indians, the Wild Avelinas, and the Wild Onions. He is a seven-time Native American Music Award winner in various categories and genres. His awards include Best Linguistic Recording, Best Folk Country Recording, Best Instrumental Recording, Best Blues Jazz Recording, and Best Producer. I have known him many years as an activist. He has been there for our communities, and he has worked with many fine actresses and actors, including Irene Bedard, on environmental concerns and Native American rights. He has been on the front lines for many of us many times, and we appreciate deeply his commitment to our struggles. The music retail world has many strong descriptions of Keith as a leading recording artist. Amazon.com describes him as part rock, part pop, and all Indian. CD Baby recommends his music if you like Bob Dylan, Bruce Springsteen, and Neil Young. And any true indigenous musician knows that you have really not succeeded in the business unless you have played on the stage with Keith Sokola. Let's take a closer look at Keith. <laughs> 